Hi, Grade 9s. As we're just about to write your HLATs, I wanted to go over with you and uh, some of the writing tips and show you some examples of other students' Grade 9 writing. The writing is usually given three types of marks. I call them bronze, silver, and gold. And that is uh, basically adequate, proficient, and excellent. Those are the way they group them. But you can think of them as sort of bronze, silver, and gold. I've got a sample of somebody's bronze writing. So they passed, they did, you know, they did well, but it's, it's the lower of the three. And I'm going to show you what you can do in your own writing to make your own writing better. So um, this one is called the mystery kelp, <laughs> which is sort of funny. And as you can see, at a grade nine level, uh, they're expecting that your um, sentences are all going to start off differently and that you're going to have a lot of descriptive language in your writing. This student has a lot of writing, which is the plus, which is why they made it into the bronze category. They have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs of writing. And uh, let's see what the markers had to say about their writing. This sample was judged as adequate, meaning bronze level, because it fulfills the task. It did; They did what they were supposed to do using sufficient, meaning barely enough. I'll translate into teacher talk for you. <laughs> sufficient details means okay. You did okay in details, not great. And contains a few awkward parts or parts that when you read them, they don't make sense. And uh, some of the sentences might be a little wonky. Anyway, word choice is generally suitable meaning there's some okay words, nothing special. And uh, it says, though, not all the um, categories were met. And that means there's probably spelling mistakes and typos. It says, let's just say, uh, it do oh, it does say that this student um, was uh, essentially error-free in mechanics. Oh, that's great. Good for them. Okay, so this is the mystery kelp. Uh, a nice little piece of writing, but nothing to bump it into silver or gold metal because they didn't use really specific adjectives. They're really general writing. If you can say, it was very, I'll use, I'll highlight the sentence, it was very interesting because I am used to being near the Pacific Ocean, not the gorgeous blue sandy uh, salty aired, you know, something like that. They just said, it is very interesting. So you can see where it's going to keep it at a bronze level. Okay, let's bump it up one. Let's go to silver metal. The silver metal, this is proficient in grade nine. This person wrote about hockey. And uh, if you can see, they've got a really interesting uh, planning page where they did it with bubbles. They did one of those brainstorming things with bubbles and a bit of an outline. And if you can't, it's hard to see, but at the very bottom, it does actually pick out some words they're going to work into their um, work, work into their piece of writing. And that um, uh, has bumped their writing up to a silver. So let's read some of this. It says, hockey is what I consider to be the best sport in the world. It is fast paced, exciting, and a great game to play. So just that one phrase, fast paced, is way more specific than the other guy's writing that just said it is interesting, right? So fast paced, more specific, a uh, little bit more, you know, grown up, mature language, right? And uh, it, th I'll just pick out some parts that are good. It represents that I am committed to hockey. Again, that word committed is just a little more mature. It just bumps your writing up. Let's see what the markers had to say. It said, this sample was judged proficient because the writing fulfills the task clearly and thoroughly. So they liked it. The writer develops an introduction that establishes the focus of the piece. So blah, blah, blah. It just means they have a nice introduction. They, they let us know what they're going to talk about hockey, and then they go on to talk about hockey. All right. Most criteria for the grade 9 levels were met. Oh, good. Okay, so the writer has taken something meaningful from personal experience. Ding, ding, ding. I'm going to tell you your cheating way of getting a, a high mark on anything is to use your own personal experience. Something from your past. Something that meant something to you. Something about you and work it into your writing that always gets you great marks. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to jump all the way up here to excellent. Okay. So this person's writing says broomstick for all times, which is a very weird 
um, title, which instantly grabs our attention. And let's read the first little bit together here. So it says, to most people, a simple broomstick can only be used for cleaning. Parents consistently, and by the way, I'm going to point out that they spelled this wrong and it doesn't matter. They still got an excellent, even with a few little uh, spelling mistakes, which shows you how powerful ideas are rather than just spelling. So parents consistently warn their children away from playing with brooms because they are considered dirty. To me, a broomstick, a broomstick holds great meaning. It is a, a childhood keepsake with many great memories tucked into its twigs along with the dirt and hair. So a beautifully written introduction paragraph. I first realized my passion for cleaning in second grade. So, and it's also different, a passion for cleaning. I mean, automatically my interest is piqued why this teenage kid would be writing about that. And it goes on all the ways that brooms have been used. The Wicked Witch in the Wizard of Oz used it at a birthday party. They talked about it and after, and also mentioning that it's a sacred object in some cultures and on and on. So it's just this really beautiful piece of writing. And so that's excellent. So bronze, silver, and gold, the main things I want you to remember are really grown-up use of words, specific grade nine level words, uh, describing things with um, adjectives, and your own personal feelings and experiences, working them into your writing somehow. Okay, that's it. And good luck on your HLATs.